Hello there! Uh, th this time we're going to make a Tremere, one of the most complicated uh, characters uh, to make. Maybe except for um, Giovanni. Uh, I've set some starting points. These are for using your uh, your discipline, uh, like all specs uh, and dominate, and a very few of your femagity uh, abilities that your storyteller can force you to roll. Um, you uh, are the mage version of a vampire. You can use most uh, mage uh, spells in a vampire converted uh, version. Uh, if you ever try to play mage, um, they're very powerful. Some of the strongest vampire in the game, but are very fragile in the beginning. Uh, they are both hated uh, and respected by all clans. Uh, um, so yeah, they are a handful to start up with, and we will get into that. Uh, in these uh, um, attributes, we have um, seven, five, and three points uh, to begin with, and as you can see, we are mostly using mental. Um, that all also makes sense since they are uh, the mage versions. So I will um, use seven points here, a little bit of social, uh, five points, and three in the physical, since we're not going to be the physical fighter. Um, I'm going to uh, use it role playing based, um, and you can do it any way you want it, XP based or balance based. Um, the only difference is if you're going to use XP based, you also always want to max out uh, uh, a few of your abilities and not have it like uh, this, but instead you know have it like uh, like this, so you have uh, used the most amount of experience, um, so it's cheaper to get the last points. Uh, these cost 4 experience per dot, so if you want, uh, the next one it costs 16 points, um, but if you have it like uh, this, it will cost you 28, and this one will only, uh, this will increase by, by 12 points, and this will only decrease by 4, so this is the best experience uh, hunting based. And down here, uh, you only should have one or three because you will lose one experience point if you take two in something. But now we are going to use it role playing based. Uh, so uh, I will tell why I'm doing stuff and hope hopefully you will agree. Since we are mages, uh, I will increase our intelligence so we know we have a lot of knowledge, uh, both to our clan secrets, uh, rituals, and so on. And I will put our. Is this right? Six, seven, yes. So we are fast at reading, we um, react fast, and we uh, uh, locate stuff easily. Um, and over here, um, we will n probably try to get our way. Um, so I will put our manipulation quite high. Uh, we will be normal in appearance, but we won't be charismatic. We will be this uh, um, self-centered mage person. Uh, so maybe just manipulation five. I know that could be XP hunting. Uh, I would put it this way if I was XP hunting too. But it also makes good sense that we just want everyone to do whatever we want, and people will won't probably like us. And here. Uh, we're not the strong type, we have a little bit of dexterity and we can take a little bit of hit. Uh, I think that will be good for a mage person. Down here we have 13, 9 and 5 points. And as you can see we have most uh, points here to use our discipline, our vampire abilities. So I will think I will use 13 here, uh, then 9 here and 5 here. Uh, what I usually do, I put one point in everything I think I want, 
uh, for my character and then fill it out after I put one point in each so I know where do I use most points uh, and how many points do I have left. Um, the difference between having zero points in something and actually have one is, the, is that the difficulty uh, decreases by three points. So if you're doing a perception alertness roll, the normal difficulty will be six, but if if you have one point in it, but if you have zero, it will be difficulty nine. Um, so one point is very important to have in most stuff. Alertness, I will suggest uh, these to something you always should have, is alertness, uh, so you uh, detect stuff, athletics, so you can hit people with throwing weapon, and most importantly, you can dodge attacks. Uh, brawl, I would mostly take one in, in that so you can grapple people and you can you know get out of a grapple or you can catch people and something like that. Um, empathy, you can see if people are lying. Expression, you can express yourself in television and streetwise. I would probably put one streetwise always so you, you know you know your way around. Okay, so that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have five points left. I would put a lot in empathy, so we can see if people are lying, because we we won't uh, be happy of being detected, uh, that we uh, being uh, backstabbed. So and I think we'll take some in intimidation, and then we have one point left. I think we'll take something in subterfuge, because we want to lie um, a lot. Um, but mostly not being backstabbed and you know threatening people. I think that would be good. One, two, three, six, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Yes. Then nine points here. Uh, something you always should take at least one point in uh, is investigation, so you can find stuff you're searching for. Uh, there is a secondary ability called search. That actually, does this. In this is uh, you try to find people through the internet or something, but. Most people are using investigation to you know, find stuff in an apartment, but uh, you can do whatever you want. Uh, but since we want to have knowledge about the world, um, about the magical world and so on, I will put up our occult. Uh, a bit in academics, because we read a lot, we know how to use math and maybe a few languages. Uh, yes, I know normally you don't get language uh, uh, from taking academics, but in some schools, depending on the country, uh, you actually learn some language through your school. So, role playing based, I think uh, that will make sense. Um, then we have two points left. Um, I think we have something in politics. Normally, I won't take that, but I think it's good that we can be political and the law. So, we have a uh, general idea about the law. I think that is nine points. Three, six, nine, yes, excellent. Then we should take a little bit in craft so we can build stuff, fix stuff, um, because most of this is not something you really need. A little bit of drive, uh, etiquette, we are fine man, of course we are. Um, we're not a fighter, we use magic, but I normally suggest you take one point in at least one, you know, heavy attack uh, skill like firearms or melee, um, just so you can defend yourself, you know, a, a little. Uh, and since we are, our strength are low, I will probably take firearms. But role playing base, we're going probably with a staff or something like that. So melee would be more role playing based. And then we will take. Uh, I don't like animals. We get people to bust up doors. Stealth. We can sneak around, find the info we are looking for, and so on. I, I think that would be good. Then there comes the very uh, <laughs> difficult part. Not the aspect and dominate. Um, aspects are basically you can see stuff people cannot see. Like if you have one point in it, you can increase your senses, like you can hear better, see better, smell better, feel better, and so on. Uh, with two, you can see auras, so you can see who are vampires, who are mages, who are just normal humans, who are angry, who are glad, who are sad, and so on. It's a very good ability to you know get your way around people uh, and you know 
be one step step ahead and knowledge based. Um, so you know you know who a vampire in the instance you walk in uh, in a bar or something. And with three points you can touch an object and see the last uh, powerful emotion this object experienced. So if you are trying to find a killer you can touch the dead body and the body will show you the last strong emotion and probably you can see the killer. Dominate is um, with one you give a person a one co command word like stop, jump, run, uh, stay and they will do it but you have to have eye contact with all of your dominate abilities. Um, the second one is that you can give people false memories like uh, you that wasn't you who stole something something and with free you can drain out information from people and get them to forget you and so something like that. Then there comes a fermatity and this is a long list so I I will begin. The uh, formatity are going through paths. So if you have like two points, you automatically get two points in the primary path, the first path you are choosing. Um, and for every point you get more in this, that path will increase just like any other skill, other discipline, sorry. And then you can buy a secondary path, uh, and you can buy as many of those as you want. Uh, on the formatity list uh, and learn more magic. Um, so this one skill is actually a bunch of skills. I think it's 12 or 15 different spells. So I'll go through them only from the 1 to 3 pointer uh, because you cannot increase these to more than 3. Oh, and you cannot increase these to more than 3 and these to more than 5. Sorry, didn't tell you that. But the magic is the first one, and the one uh, most Tremere's are forced to take, or willingly are taking, is the Path of Blood. The Path of Blood um, is, is, the, is a very good starting ability because the, uh, their vampire weaknesses, if they drink uh, blood from a vampire twice, they are actually blood bound, where other vampire clans have to drink from them three times. So they're easier easy to blood bind and with the first one you can get information from the blood you are, are drinking so you can um, see who they are are the vampires on you can get a lot of information from the one dot in the second uh, dot you can force people to use blood to use discipline you know drain themselves force them to, to use blood they normally wouldn't use to drain them from from blood so they're easier to kill uh, while you're teammates are killing them, you won't, you will probably stay back. And then you have some of uh, the most interesting uh, ability, is that you have on the free pointer, you have the ability to lower your own gener generation, and generation, we start with generation 13, with the background um, generation, and 5 points in, in that, you can get the all, all the way down to 8. But with this, you can actually lower it one more time, and that means that you get immune for dominate for people who are lower, uh, higher generation than you are. You can increase your stats uh, easy, e uh, easier. You can have more blood uh, in your body. You can use more blood, and so on. That's a very uh, useful skill um, in so ma many ways. Then the other one you can choose is the. Uh, Element mastery. You can use it to, uh, with blood, increase your strength through that. Uh, gather the power from from the earth. You can talk to items. And you can even animate objects at the at one, two, and three pointers. Uh, then there is the uh, the green path. With with that, you can talk to plants. You can uh, get. Uh, get plants to grow and you can animate plants with the free pointers. Uh, hand of this uh, the next one is uh, hand of destruction. You can get things to decay like wood or iron or no natural materials. Uh, with the second one you can bend uh, stuff 
so you can, if someone have closed the door and locked it, you can bend it so you can you know, squeeze through it or bend it back so no one can see you have entered. Um, you can use it in uh, different ways. And then at a free pointer you have acid touch, so things you are touching are uh, yeah, decaying in, in your hands. Then there is the most powerful of, of all of their disciplines, um, that is Lure of Flames. Lure of Flames makes for every point you have in it, the flames become bigger. Uh, at a one point you can make a little candle light, so you will always have light. Uh, with the second one I think you can make a little uh, campfire uh, size fire, and on the third one you can make a bonfire, and over that you begin to make you know massive fires and the higher points you get it uh, in it the more damage you uh, deal and the harder it is for vampire mages and so on to uh, soak that damage um, then there is uh, Neptune's Might with that you can uh, see events uh, in the water so if the Mafia have dumped uh, a body in the water, you can touch the water or speak to it, and then you will see some events that have happened. Um, then there is, and the second one, there is the water prison, uh, and that's just like if you have seen Naruto, there's a bubble of water you trap people in, and if they are not vampires, like normal uh, humans or mages or so on, they will actually drown. Uh, but you can keep people captured uh, in there. And at the third point, you can make blood to water, so you can inflict uh, damage and drain people's blood pool by turning their uh, blood into water. Then there is movement of the mind. Uh, with that, you can um, you can um, uh, lift thing like a Jedi. You can you know uh, the higher the higher the point, the more weight you can you can lift. So in the start, you can maybe only lift like a chair and throw it at, at a person. But with five, you can take a truck and throw that. Um, then there is the path of uh, co uh, conjuring. With that, uh, at one point, you can make simple summons like a piece of wood or a little piece of iron or something. Um, with the second one, you can make what you summon permanent. Like if you summon a wood, that would disappear after some some time. But you can maybe, you know, use something. You know, barricade the doors for the for for the night, and then it, it will disappear. But now you can make it permanent. And with the third one, you can actually just create a gun in your hand or a sword, or you know, give out weapons um, for some time. Then there is the, the path of corruption. Um, you can, with one, change people's mind. With the second one, you can upset, uh, they suppress acts. And with the third one, you can um, destroy fr uh, friendship, basically. Then there is the path, path of Mars. Uh, with the first one, you can make people so happy to go into battle that they um, they have no fear to go into war, and in every penalty they get for having a lot of damage uh, are nullified. Um, with the second one, you can make that the next attack will always hit. But the downside is, and I think that is making this spell really weak that it only counts as you get one success to hit so it's very easy to dodge but it can be used in some good ways I mean if you are having a hand grenade and you want to throw it at the door before the hordes of angry people are coming in and you are not that good at throwing you can use this power to you know set it in front in front of the door and then blow up people um, so it can be used, but later on, not that good. Uh, and then with the third one, you can uh, dodge every attack for one turn, with no downside. Um, so that's pretty good. 
the next one is the path of uh, technomancy with the one uh, point that you can understand technology you normally wouldn't understand with the second one you can sabotage objects like you can get a computer to shut to shut down or a scanner not to work or something some something neat and uh, with the third one you can uh, uh, in, uh, encrypt data so you can have you know, your computer and you don't know how to you know encrypt it you just use matching on it and people probably won't be able to hack it then there is the path uh, path of the father's uh, vengeance with the first one you can uh, see uh, who people are blood bound to so you actually know uh, who they are working for. Um, the next one uh, is that you can make uh, people uh, look like Nosfalasu, so be very ugly. And the third one is that uh, if people or if vampires are feeding, they will feel that is ash they are feeding uh, instead of blood, and they have a hard time keeping the blood in. And we actually throw it up. So if you can just keep using this spell for a few a few days, maybe they will be blood drained and will probably come to you to you know ask to remove the curse or be so weak that you actually can kill him or whatever you want. Then there is uh, um, uh, then there is. Uh, so then there is uh, traumat uh, traumatical counter magic, making that you can counter any um, spell based vampire ability or mage ability or whoever uses uh, real magic. And uh, you have a chance to counter their spells. The higher you get in, in this, the easier it is for you to, to, uh, to, to counter them. And the last one is weather control. The higher you have it, the more you can control the weather. If you have like one point, you can make a slight breeze, and if you have five, you can make and make a storm. Um, so that is all of the abilities. Uh, just to make it easy, we will take the path of blood because that is what they start off with. You are a Tremere. They really love their film magic. Uh, and for back for backgrounds, there is a lot here. Uh, alternative identity, uh, oh, allies, uh, contacts, domains, fame, generation, herd, influence. Uh, contact with people you can call up if you need something. Domain is you have some of the, uh, you control some of the town, and other vampires should not enter. Uh, gen generation, you lower your generation to be closer to the original vampires hurt you have something to feed from uh, so you don't have to go out and feed every night influence you have some influence in the city or something a mentor you have a mentor probably a powerful one to either protect you or help you or guide you resources you start off with money retainers you have ghouls rituals you start with some rituals uh, and status you have some status so I think we will take some in rituals. Normally I would take all the points in generation, but let's take some uh, role playing based here. Um, so I will take yes, I will take these three. We'll start with some few rituals. Um, we have have some status in our sects or whatever uh, the, the storyteller will agree on. Uh, you only have five points here, and you can only increase it to five. And we have uh, one in resources. We have a little bit of money. Then over here we have seven points, and that's uh, free to use. You can not increase something to more than five. Condition is that if you go out to the street and begin to lit fire on the street and kill everyone you have to roll your conscience to see if your humanity is down here is lowered by one point uh, and if you reach a zero uh, you become consumed by the beast and the beast makes that 
you only feed, sleep and kill and you are not playable so the GM will take over and you're probably going to be killed very, very soon so you always have to you know have your humanity not as high as, pos as possible but high enough that you won't be consumed by the beast self control is if you haven't fed in a long time and your blood pool are low you have to roll a self control roll if you smell blood or just in general smell blood um, so the higher you have in here the more you have the chance for not you know randomly uh, feed in the middle of a battle or attack someone who's just bleeding from their hand if they're fallen or something and courage is the is how uh, yeah uh, brave you are if a fire starts uh, somewhere or you're afraid of spiders and you see spiders or you see sunlight or something something so that's that um, we have seven points. I think we will have a little bit of conscience, so our humanity won't fall that much. I think we have a little bit in self-control, not that much actually. Uh, and the rest will be in our courage because these. Have I used all my points? No, I only used six points. Courage, because these points determines our willpower. And I will get back to that in just one moment. And this will determine uh, our humanity. So if you have a humanity of 7, you are or 6, you are a decent human being. With 5, you are not that decent anymore. You probably steal from people. and Yeah, you can be not that nice uh, as a player. But what is important is your courage, not not your courage, but your willpower. Because to use your uh, blood magic, you have to roll your willpower. So the more dots you have in that, the more dice you have, you can roll. Um, since we haven't put anything in our generation, so our generation of thirteen, we only have ten blood points to use of. But since we're not using that much blood anyway, I think that is fine. Um, normally Tremere's wants to be as low a generation as possible because then they can get more powerful spells and so on but for, for role playing sex uh, I think this makes more sense uh, and their weakness is that they, they are easier to blood bound uh, yeah. then, I ha then you can take some flaws for 7 points and that could be any one of these to have a different cost so let's just assume I have uh, used uh, 7 points um, because I won't go through that since uh, this video shouldn't be that long uh, but you have used for 7 points and you start off with uh, 15 points so you have tw 22 then in the uh, Law of Clan uh, book you can get uh, as a Tremere uh, keys of keys to the library and that cost one to five points so I've taken the five points so we have maximum access to every kind of research rituals anything we want to know if we want to read about other disciplines wants to know the most secrets of the uh, Tremere's knowledge we can probably get access to it um, but as your storyteller. But we have used 5 points, we only have 17 points left. Uh, a merit is the opposite of flaws, is bonus just you start with. There is a lot uh, in here. You can write uh, some, uh, there is on the list, like uh, the key to the library. So we have 17 points, and without any doubt, we have to maximize our willpower. So that's already 5 points. It costs 1 point each. Uh, these cost 7 points, these cost 1 point, these cost 2 points, all of these cost 2 points, and these cost 5 points. Um, I think these are good, these are good. Uh, so we can take, um, either we want to get our will, or you know, take information out of people's head, or always be aware who is a vampire, who is not, so we not by accident drink blood from other people, but 
I've taken a bit of sub, sub, subterfuge intimidation, empathy, so we can see who is lying and so on, and we're not a very nice guy. So I think we'll use uh, seven points to get one in dominate, so we slowly can, you know, uh, print in false memories, take memories from others, and you know, get the information. So we, you know, knowledge is power. So we have five points left. Uh, yes, we have five points left. We could take some generation if we want to be a powerful uh, Trumir. I think we'll do that just for the sake of it. That means that our blood pool increased to uh, 15, and instead of we can use one blood point each turn, we can use three. Blood points you can use to heal your damage is if it's only lethal or lower. Uh, you can use it to some of your vampire disciplines, not these, and you can use it to increase your physical stats. So we can use three blood points to you know, get three more strength, or one more strength, one more dex, one more stamina, or whatever you want. So we have to uh, fix this. Then the only thing that's left is that you have to write down if you have any allies, contacts, mentors, resources, where do we get your money from, etc., etc and fill out your age, how you look, and how old you look, uh, day of birth, when you die, hair color, and so on, so on, so on. Um, and if you start with any weapons, or armors, of course. Um, the only thing we need uh, now is that we need our specialties. You, can, you, ha you, should, uh, you have to take a specialty for every uh, attribute or ability you have four more points in. That means if you need the requirements of the specialty, the tens you roll are counting as two su successes instead of one. Like if you want to manipulate people and our specialty are um, lying. If we are lying and we are rolling and we roll like three tens and uh, nothing else, that will still be six successes. Um, and that also goes for these, uh, if they're four or higher. Uh, and the only thing we need are our sire, what are he called or she called. Uh, our nature, our nature is how we get our willpower back, unless the, also, but you can also get the back if the storyteller are agreeing for the option rule that is in the rule book, that for every day you rest and do nothing, you regain one willpower. Willpower you can use to get uh, automatic success. Well, that doesn't seem good. Okay. You can use willpower by clicking off here to get um, free six uh, automatic successes, but you can only use one willpower at the at the time for each action, uh, and you can you know um, yeah use it to uh, get uh, automatic su successes. Uh, but if you're using too many, that would be the willpower you have left, so the lower you get it, the easier it is for people to mind control you or use some special abilities on you. Uh, but this one is how you get it normally. We could be our nature, could be traditionalists, like every time you do something old fashioned, you, know, you, go, you are walking in in uh, old ropes and only taking the uh, you're going w uh, with the horse car uh, caravan instead of the car or something old fashioned you will regain a willpower and your demeanor is how you look to others and that could be like um, maybe a trickster because people don't trust you or a cellist or whatever uh, you want to make your uh, enigma you're very mysterious or something. So I think we will do that. And then you just have to write your name for your character and write your own your own uh, name and that is Magnus. And then we are actually done. Uh, I hope this helped you with the Tremere. Um, see you, see you later. Bye.